Hi guys and welcome back to another video. This video will be all about the Charlotte de Gaulle class aircraft carrier. Now some of you might remember a quest called Perseus and this quest would grant you the aircraft carrier. That's why a couple people had it but now it has been removed from the game. Now the reason why I got this ship is just to make a video about it. I got it for two weeks and this is the video that I'm making for it. So at the moment I don't have the aircraft carrier anymore, the devs just gave it to me just to make a video about it. But since the developers decided to give me this ship for two weeks, I decided to give Holbo Line its airport back. And yes, this does actually fit. But now starting off with the actual review, you can see that this aircraft carrier has a couple planes on the deck. Now those planes are the Rafales, which is the French Navy fighter jets. And as you can see the flight deck looks a lot like the real life one, it's got very cool stripes, nice paintings on the deck. Also the hazard areas on the deck and the elevators, which do not work by the way. Now something interesting to this ship is that if you walk up to this door on the flight deck right here, if you press and hold E on this you will be teleported to a lower deck, which is kind of a cool feature. And this is the same way you can get up to the bridge of this ship. Talking about the bridge, right here you can see that it is very very small, but it's very cozy and it looks very good. You have a good vision all over the flight deck in front of you and to the side, and it overall it looks very good. And just in case if you're wondering, this is what the ship looks like from under the sea. And just in case you want to hear the horn, this is the horn. Now this aircraft carrier can go up to 27.1 knots, but sadly it is officially removed from the game. If you're wondering how you could get this aircraft carrier, I'm gonna play the little video in the background right now, but this is basically how you got it. So what you had to do is first you had to find the sunken submarine called Perseus, which was sitting at the bottom of the ocean, and you had to search for a buoy or search for the wreck of the submarine itself which was sitting under the water so you had to go around and search for the various locations of these submarines they're always the same submarine but they are always in a different location for each server so what we usually did is just find one location travel to that location if it wasn't there we join another server until we got lucky and found the submarine if you pick up the document it will read as follows top secret caution this document is classified top secret. The radiation monitor station at Blank has detected an abnormally high reading for the East Baltic region, which we believe to be the covert testing of a new variant of Soviet nuclear torpedo. USS Perseus is being sent to the region with an emergency cargo of radioactive nuclide detection equipment to gather as much data as possible to present to the Human Rights Tribunal as a major escalation and danger to all commercial shipping in the immediate region. The status regarding the monitor station has not changed and will follow through with the decommissioning as previously stated. And along with picking up this paper, Perseus is started and it says the first part of the quest, find the monitor station. Now the monitor station is located at Hammershaven, which is in Bornholm. So if you head there and go to this puddle right here and dive down, you should be able to find the entrance to the bunker. And if you enter the bunker, you will be teleported down here and you will be able to walk up to this door right here and knock on it. If you do this, there will be a person that answers you. Huh? What? Who are you? This is my bunker. I was here first. Squatters have rights, you know. You're not with the landlord to evict me. What the heavens are you doing here then? Searching for a monitor station? Say. I think I might have found one. I remember seeing a whole bunch of nonsense documents when I first moved in, but I don't have those anymore. Toilet paper is short on supply down here. I remember one of them mentioning something about a secret Soviet missile silo inside of a volcano. Sounds very super villain to me. 
If you find what you're looking for, can you please bring me some of that premium toilet paper they issued to the Soviet military? I can't keep using radiation booklets. It's so dull down here. If you could bring me something from Blockbuster Video, in return I know an abandoned shipyard we might be able to pilfer some military equipment from. And this is the part where everyone got stuck. No one could find the volcano bunker. But apparently after the quest got deleted, someone said that it could be found at Port Foster. So I made it my own theory. My theory was that at Port Foster there was this igloo from Pingu. And I thought maybe that was an ex-Russian missile silo. Just to give you a clue of what I was thinking of, here's a little clip. But yeah, obviously I didn't get to that part of the quest and I don't have the footage for it. But I'm really sad to see this quest removed. I think that the devs put a lot of effort into it and it's sad to see it removed like this. No one wanted the quest gone, but the community got extremely toxic apparently and the quest was removed because people even took their anger out on each other and they were exploiting to steal client side assets into the game. So that's totally not good. So at the moment the Shadow of the Ghoul is not in the game anymore, but who knows if they might add it in a later stage of the game or maybe if it will be added in Nautica. Something very interesting however, if you go to the Trello for DSS and you go into the plant section, you will find the Giuseppe Garibaldi and this is very promising because that is another carrier that might come to the game. So on that note, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Please do leave a like if you did and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye bye!